This is Module 1, End of Module Review, Page 2. In this unit, we were learning properties of multiplication and division and solving problems with units 2 through 5 and 10. Number 2. A. Draw an array that shows 7 rows of 3. Write a multiplication sentence that, to represent the array and circle the factor that represents the number of rows. I need to start by drawing 7 rows of 3. 1, 2, 3, 1 row. 2 3's, 3 3's, 4 3's, 5 3's, 6 3's, 7 3's. When I look at this, I see I have 7, my multiplication sentence, rows of 3. I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 7 times 3 equals 21. I need to circle the number of rows. I have 7 rows, so I'll circle the 7. Letter B. Draw another array that shows 3 rows of 7. Write a different multiplication sentence and circle the factor that represents the size of each row. So this time I'm going to draw three rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I look at my picture this time, I have three rows, different multiplication sentence, times seven in each row. If I know the commutative property, it tells me I can multiply numbers in any order and get the same answer. So I'm still going to end up with 21. This time I need to circle the number that means the size of each row. Each row has seven dots, so I'm going to circle the 7. Letter C. Explain the relationship between the two arrays using number sentences and words. I want you to use number sentences and words to tell how the arrays are the same and how the arrays are different. Letter D. 